What'd you the, say? Uh, it has audio. The way the sublingual gland looks. And you can see now, compare this now with the, the mucin secreting clusters that you saw in the submandibular gland. You can see that these primarily are very nice in terms of almost the, almost the entire gland is now is a mucus secreting gland. Let's go up. This is a um, 10 exoskeletal with a higher magnification. So we can see it a little bit better. And so now we can see someone had some very pretty serious demi -lunes. I'll show you another slide that shows that in just a second. But look at this cluster right here by where the uh, arrow is pointing. This, these are the mucus secreting cells right in here. And then these are serous secreting cells that are on top. And so here is a, so this now is called a serous demi -lune. And because it's on top of where these uh, uh, mucus secreting cells are located, here's another one over here. And so and my next slide will sort of show that. So I want you to be able to look at, if I flash up a, a piece of tissue like this, I want you to be able to tell me what, what gland it is. I'll always give you the parameters so you can tell, but you should be able to identify the sublingual, the parotid, and the submandibular without a moment's hesitation. Da -da -da -da. Okay? And the other components are pretty much the same. You won't see any, you won't see any, um, uh, intercalated ducts in this in this particular preparation. All right. So let me look at the next slide, which is uh, uh, sublingual gland. But now we're going to use the PAS or the shift staining, so we can look at the uh, the, the mucin secreting uh, material. Hmm. That's okay. I've got nothing from the last time either. We rushed out of here. Oh, that's uh, 64. Well, he talked. <laughs> I can't remember. I think that's redundant. It's not worth it. Actually, this is not, this is not, it's my slide 64, but it's, it's incorrect. And so I'll have to look and find the other. That's not the first slide that's I looked not at. not correct in terms of. 63. Oh, 63. Oh, okay. I have, I'm having trouble here with my numbers. Oh, yeah, that's, thank you very much. 63 is the guy. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so 63 is the uh, is the uh, PAS stain material. It's a little out of focus here, but anyway, this will the the purple the purple stain uh, uh, magenta almost stain material is the mucus, mucus uh, cells and the mucus in the cells itself. So you'll have to have a look at your own slide, but these uh, are very prominent. Okay, down here you can you can see this one, for example, would be you can see that in fact the the serous demi lunes, which are on the outside around here, these are staying quite differently. They're, they're much paler and don't have that, that carbohydrate positive stain that you see with the PAS stain that you see right there, okay? So this would be a serous demi lune right here on top of this uh, mucus secreting cluster of cells. All right, that's about all you really need to see with that. And uh, so. Might be able, you might be able to see a uh, you might be able to see an intercalated cell uh, duct in this system, but I don't know. Um, there's a, again, just go through and take a look at the duct system. That's all you really need to look at there. All right. So that's those are the those are the the, the parotid and the sublingual and the submandibular glands. They're really important for you to uh, to be able to identify the number of components that are there. So take a little time to look at that. Now we're going to look at the pancreas. This is uh, slide 38. And we're going to be primarily looking to identify the uh, exocrine secreting portion of this. The, uh, and we want to identify the central acinar cells. And we want to identify the, at least the presence of the uh, islets of Langerhoff. OK, just a second.